guys, and welcome again to another edition of Learning with Rich. Alright, so in this topic, so we are going to talk about how to find an item or items in Autodesk Naviswork Manage uh, 2018. Alright, so let's get started. So I'm going to open the, again, I'm going to open the sample file, the RAC basic sample uh, project file, that NWF. So I'm going to select here, open. So finding is a quick and powerful way of selecting items in the, uh, into the current selection based on, let's say, for example, on items properties. Okay. So you can run a simple manual searches of the model by item property. So that is what we are going to do. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to find an object. Okay, because um, sometimes finding an item in Anavis works, it's like a searching for a needle in a haystack. Okay, so since there's so much searchable data that we can use in Navisworks, so it's really good to know that we can really define our searches, define the specific items by utilizing the find items dialog box. Okay? All right, so that is what we are going to do. So to get started, so from our home tab, Select and search panel. You can see here the find items tool. So this is what we are going to use. So I'm going to select find items. Okay, so this is now our uh, find items uh, dialog box. Okay, so as you can see, our find items automatically hides because it's uh, not pinned. So I'm going to click this one all right so now it's already pinned so if I'm going to unpin this one it will auto hide okay so I'm just going to click this I'm going to pin it so that it will not auto hide okay you can actually click this portion here and you can drag that okay you can hold your le left click here and then you can place it on top you can place it at the right side, you can place it at the bottom portion, or you can place it at the left side. So I'm going to place it at the left side, okay? And then again, you can also expand that. You can resize the properties here. Okay, let me just uh, resize mine. Oh, all right. The value. All right. Okay, so as you can see, our find items is a dockable windows. Okay, so now if just like our selection tree, you can also uh, change here your settings. So again, if it is standard, it's, uh, it displays the default tree hierarchy, including the instances. Okay, so if you're going to select a compact, if you select the compact, it will only show you the level, okay? You can find on uh, our level. So you can highlight, let's say, level 1, and then from level 1, you can find elements. Okay, the other options here is the properties. So when you say properties, it displays the hierarchy based on the item's uh, properties, okay? Let me just go ahead and select here the standard, okay? And then let us do some uh, basic search. Okay, so I'm going to use the category like what I've said earlier. I'm going to use the item category. Okay, so let's say, for example, I'm going to look on a particular element with this type of material. Okay, so let's say I'm going to look for a metal uh, object. Okay, an object whose material is a metal. So I'm going to select here the property. Okay, so from here, so I'm going to select the material. And then for the condition, okay, so for the condition, I'm going to select here uh, contains. Okay, so you have uh, multiple conditions here, equal, not equals, contains, wildcard, uh, defined, and undefined. So in this exercise, I'll just uh, use the contains here. 
And then for the value, so let's say like what I have said, I'm going to select here the metal. So let's say I'm going to select an object whose uh, a material is metal aluminum. All right. Okay. You can actually add another one. You can just click this and then you can add another a category here to refine your searches. Okay. So if you want to make your search statement uh, case sensitive, you can right click at the blank space here and then you can select uh -huh, ignore our string value case. Okay. If you want to make your search statement case sensitive, uh, case insensitive, so you need to check this one. Okay. And then you can add another category anyway i'm just going to delete this search i'm going to delete that okay so i ha only have this one so after you set now the property of your search so all you have to do is to select here first uh find first so you just click that one so as you can see it's already selected how do i know that it's already selected because you see my properties here the properties tells me that I just selected an item whose material is metal aluminum. So if I'm going to escape, you will notice it's blank, right? Now I'm going to select the find here. Okay, as you can see, it's selected. So uh, let me just select find next if I still have other elements. Yeah, so as you can see, I have on level one, I also have another on level one, I click again, I have on level two. Now for me to be able to see that object, what I can do here is I can change the visual style, just make sure it's still selected. So you can go to the viewpoint and then you can change here the visual style. You can change to wireframe. Okay, you can change that to wireframe. So, but for this one, so you need to really zoom in. The default color of the selected object in my Navi's work is color blue. And so as you can see, you see there, there's an object there that is color blue, right? So that is actually the element that we're talking about. So you can change your visual style to wireframe. Okay. Now, so if I'm going to select find next again. Find next. Okay. By next so let's go look again for color blue object okay there you go so this is the one that we are talking about now another option if your object is not that uh, difficult to navigate so instead of changing your visual style to wireframe you can actually change your view to isometric you can click this and then you will notice your model will zoom into that. You can click one of the isometric view here, right? So your model will actually zoom into that particular object. Okay, let me just select find next again to go to the next element. Okay, so I'm going to select one of the isometric view. So you will notice it will go to that particular object. So aside from changing the visual style to wireframe, you can also do this. Next, next. Okay, now it becomes level 2. So I click again the isometric view. Now it will zoom into that object. Okay. Right. So basically, uh, that's how you uh, find items in uh, Navisworks. Okay. So... Hope this video has been useful to you guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, so let me just show you another search here. So what about element, property, let's say name, that is, uh, that's containing, let's say the value here is uh, this one. So let's try this. I'm going to select find first. Again, as you can see, it changed, right? 
Now, for me to be able to see that object, so I'm going to click one of the isometric view, and it will zoom in. So basically, this is actually the object. Okay? Alright, so that is our M Skylight Windows family. Alright? So, once again, thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day. Bye-bye!